cookbook i'm felide if you've been looking for the perfect pumpkin bread recipe look no further because we are making pumpkin bread today let's get started these are the ingredients we'll be using i have one cup of homemade pumpkin puree two eggs one cup granulated sugar a half a cup of olive oil one teaspoon vanilla extract a quarter cup of water one cup and three fourths of a cup flour one teaspoon baking soda a half a teaspoon baking powder a half a teaspoon cinnamon a quarter teaspoon ground ginger powder a quarter teaspoon of salt a very small pinch of ground nutmeg a little bit of spice it's not necessary it's optional but you can choose to use it and a very small pinch about an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves this is also optional and i also have raw pumpkin seeds that i'm going to sprinkle on top of our bread and pecans a half a cup of coarsely chopped pecans i'm starting with the dry ingredients into my mixing bowl goes the flour baking soda baking powder salt and all my spices and just a pinch of ground nutmeg just stir them to combine and I'm gonna put this aside while I prepare our moist ingredients in go the eggs just whisk the eggs briefly to the eggs I'm adding the sugar pumpkin puree olive oil, vanilla extract, and water. And I'm going to whisk this mixture until all of the ingredients are blended. And to this I'm adding our dry ingredients. Again whisk until blended, gently. I only briefly whisk this mixture until blended, no vigorous beating is required. And this is the texture you are looking for. And to this, I'm adding our pecans. And I'll just fold them in with a spatula. And our pumpkin bread batter is ready. I'm ready to bake our pumpkin bread. I have a loaf pan, which is nine by five inches in size. And I'm going to pour all of our batter into the loaf pan like this. And I'm going to sprinkle some pumpkin seeds and these are raw pumpkin seeds no need to roast them beforehand because they're going to be roasting in the oven anyway and just adjust the amount to your taste it looks pretty good and I'm going to bake my pumpkin bread at the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour and I'll show you how it looks my pumpkin bread came out of the oven looks beautiful I baked it for exactly one hour and I tested for doneness by pricking a wooden stick inside in the center. It came out clean. That means that it, it's ready. And I cooled it down so I can slice it. Let's take a look inside. It turned out quite moist. When I press on it, it's spongy. Let's actually try it and see how it did. It turned out very delicious. It's very moist because we used olive oil. It really added to the moisture and it's spongy. The flavors are excellent. I love that we used a little bit of every spice. We did not, I did not want to overpower the taste of pumpkin. So that was a perfect amount. And the pecans added a crunch to the bread. It's not overly sweet, which, which is another plus. Make this pumpkin bread for yourself and your loved ones. Get the detailed recipe on azcookbook.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. If you make this recipe, let me know in the comments down below and also use hashtag azcookbook to share pictures on your social media. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for watching me. I'll see you soon. Happy baking. Bye.